Hello, welcome to Crazy Row Studio. In this video, we will be taking a look at Networker NSR tools. NSR tools is an interactive command line utility created by the Dell EMC field support, which bundles different support tools to have one tool in one place. The tool can be downloaded from the FTP link on your screen and also in the description below. This tool supports Networker version 18 and newer releases and the operating system compatibility is listed on your screen which includes Windows 2012 64 or newer, Linux 64-bit distributions that is inclusive of CentOS, uh, Red Hat Linux Enterprise, 6.x, 7.x and 8.x and uh, SUSE Linux 11.x, 12.x or newer. There is no installation required and NSR tool is a read-only tool which means that there is no configuration change that will be done on your system and it is pretty safe to be tinkering about. There are a lot of tools packed into this one package and covering all of it in one video is going to make the video a lot lengthier. Thus, this is going to be a multi-part video. Link to the videos for the different tools are available in the description below. This is the fourth part of the multi-part set of videos for NSR tools. In this part, we will look at a few more of the features available in NSR tools, which I'm sure will help you in troubleshooting tasks. So first, let's go ahead and launch the NSR tools on my networker server. For this, I'm going to use the command dot slash NSR tools. Again, the link for downloading NSR tools is in the descriptions below. The first feature that we are going to look at today is list NSR peer resources mismatches. So this feature is used to find if there is a peer information mismatch between the information that is in the NSR LA database that is on the server and compare it to the one on the client. It does this by checking the ID and certificate with each client that is configured on the networker server. And yes, it is going to take a pretty long time depending on the number of clients configured on your system. To use this feature, we are going to run the command NSR pure mismatches list and hit enter. So I have just two clients, uh, so this is pretty quick for me. So I have two clients here, one is Oracle 1 and the other is DC1. And if you see the output here, it says that I have one resource mismatch. And that resource mismatch is for Oracle 1. All right. And uh, this is generally because uh, maybe your uh, system is reinstalled or your uh, NSR LADB on the client is renamed. But mainly this might also be uh, one of the reason wherein a system that was already being backed up to networker has changed. Be, there might be a malicious reason to this or it might just be because the operating system might have been uh, reinstalled or a decommissioned client might have been commissioned back. The next feature in our list for today is correct NSR peer resource mismatch. So this feature of NSR tool is used to correct the NSR peer resource mismatch. So in the earlier uh, feature we saw that we are able to list it and this feature helps us to correct that uh, particular peer information resource. So it attempts to correct the peer information resource mismatches with the NSR admin minus C command. For more information related to this, please check the admin or the command reference guide or you can check the Networker command app on Android. So to use this feature, all we do is run the command nsr peer mismatches correct and hit enter. So now this is going to mention that there might be a vulnerability which uh, might have caused the resource mismatch. So it's asking you to check and uh, if you are pretty sure you can confirm with yes. You're going to confirm with yes to see how that works. 
and uh, if you see the summary here it tells that it has deleted the NSRPR information for uh, that particular client which had the mismatch on NSR, um, NSR Linux which is my network is server. Uh, now let's quickly check this by running the previous command again and now you see that we do not have any resource mismatch anymore. Alright, good with that. So the next feature that we have is verify NSR client. So this feature is used to check the NSR client structure. So what this does, what this particular feature does is that it checks the client name, the client ID, client FQDN, IP address, it gives you the reverse lookup results, it does client port connectivity check and also time synchronization. To use this command, you can uh, to use this feature, you can use the command NSR client verify on the NSR tools prompt. So as I have mentioned, I just have two clients, so it is pretty quick for me. And if I go and check the summary, here I will see, okay. <clears throat> this is one of the bug here, uh, because I just have two clients, uh, we just need the details twice but uh, right now with the current version of NSR tools it displays the details as many times the client resource is created within NSR uh, server so anyways uh, ultimately this is the information that uh, you get out of this so here you here you have the NSR server itself the client ID the IP address the host name from reverse lookup the port connection uh, status, the NSR LA matches, and time synchronization. Uh, it does the same for this is my vCenter server. So right now it is not up, so that is why we all we have all these failures here. Uh, then we have uh, the next, which is my Windows machine. And then here it is uh, displaying the network server again, which is already mentioned before. And do, 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 let's see what I have next. DC1 and yeah. So basically it says that I have ping error 1, which is for the, um, the vCenter server. And this is the summary for it. So it also mentions that I have an error with reverse lookup and it's going to mention which systems have failed for reverse lookup and which systems have failed for the ping test. So this is pretty handy to check the overall status of your clients in uh, your network infrastructure. I think there can be an improvement in this feature as well wherein uh, it could take the input as a single client and provide a uh, provide a result out of that I think that would that would make a very good uh, tool out of this so you can go ahead and uh, I don't know if I have mentioned this before but if you look at the NSR tools at launch it gives you the name of the person who is responsible for this tool and you can always reach out to him if in case you have any comments or suggestions or any uh, suggestions for enhancements or if any bugs that you see in this particular tool so is the man to reach out to All right, so the next feature that we are going to look at today is the Verify NSR Storage node. So this is very, very similar to how Verify NSR Client works. But this particular feature uh, or this particular command verifies only the connectivity with the, story, uh, with the configured storage nodes on your network server. So let's go ahead and use this. So to use this feature, you have to run the command NSR storage node verify and hit enter. I don't have any additional storage nodes. Uh, thus, 
I do not have any additional storage nodes. It's just the backup uh, server itself. So if you look at uh, the summary, the output summary here, you'll see that I have just one storage node, which is the backup server itself, the version, uh, all the information that we had seen earlier. It also provides you information on the number of devices that are configured. So I just have one device configured, which is this. Uh, if it is right accessible at the moment, it says yes, because it is up and running. And then you see there are no errors for this particular storage node. All right, so the next and the last feature in our list today is Verify Networker User Group. So this feature verifies the Networker User Group hosts. Uh, so for each NSR User Group resource in the Networker Server's NSR database, it verifies the host entries in the user and administrator attribute uh, if they have the proper DNS entries configured and then the tool will attempt to connect to each of those addresses on port 7938 which is basically the ping tests uh, that uh, NSR tools does and to use this feature we can run or use the command NSR user group verify on the NSR prompt and there you go these are the different groups that I have let's go one by one this is the administrators list and in the administrators list I have the networker server information only on the uh, monitor as well it is just the NSR uh, server host all the way on all of my systems so I have not added any other systems uh, or other servers to my user group host list. So this is all I have in this part of NSR tool features introduction. So stay tuned for the next set of features. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below, or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.